watching. You're watching. You're watching. You're watching. You're watching Disney Channel. Disney Channel. Hey guys. Yeah, this is just a. Oh, I didn't see you there. Let's try this again. <laughs> Check it out. I'm Debbie Ryan. Peyton Elizabeth Lee. Hillary Duff. Dove Cameron. Selena Gomez. Camille McFadden. Madison Who. Sophia Carson. Milo Manheim. Brenda Song. Ross Lynch. Cindy. Cole Jones. Ross, Ross. Erica Ferrer. Jason Dolly. Raven Simone. Bella Thorpe. Cal Mass. Peyton List. Jonas Brothers. Miley Cyrus. And you're, you're watching, watching Disney Channel. Disney Channel. Disney Channel. Did that really just happen? Look at that. Epic. Magical. Looking good. <laughs> Nailed it. Nice. Wow, well, this thing makes an awesome back scratcher. <laughs> Let's go! A new adventure, another day. Here and welcome back to my channel. Me go! Call me Coco. I am the mermaid princess of the South Pacific Ocean. My name is Karen. I am the mermaid princess of the Antarctic Ocean. My name is Noelle, and I am the mermaid princess of the Arctic Ocean. I am the pretty guardian who fights for love and for courage. I am Sailor Jupiter. I'll feel you regret. It'll leave you numb. My name is Sarasa. I am Ichi's sister. Hey, don't forget about me. I'm Roka, and I am Sarasa's sister-in-law. My name is Kizasoma. The animal in the zodiac that I symbolize is the tiger. Call me Hirosoma. The animal that symbolizes the zodiac is the sheep, and that is me. A fine pleasure to meet you. My name is Kotoko. My name is Amu Hinamori. I can transform into Amulet Heart, Amulet Spade, Amulet Clover, Amulet Diamond, Amulet Angel, Amulet Devil, and Amulet Fortune. Hello, my name is Plutia. I can transform into Iris Heart. My name is Vert. I can transform into Green Heart. I am Nico Robin, a treasure hunter. Pleasure to meet you. My name is Kami. I am Ochako Uraka. Let's go! Hey, hey! Nice to meet you! Call me Nejiri Hano! I am Itsuka Kendo. Pleasure to meet you. What's up? I'm Black Star! Hi there, it's Kami. I'm Nozomi. It's a pleasure to meet you. Call me Maven. I'm pleased to meet you. I am the head of the Furude family. Rika Furude. I am Kaname Chidori. It's a pleasure. My name is Hestia. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hi there, I'm Machi. Nice to meet you. I am called Rola. Be grateful, I'm not giving you any punishment. I am La Pucelle. Pleased to meet you. You can call me Sister Nana. Nice to meet you. I'm Rachel. Great to meet you. My name is Snow White. Pleasure to meet you. About us, I'm Nagisa 1. And I'm Nagisa 2. What's up? I'm Boruto. It's a pleasure. My name is Hikaru Shido. I represent the element of fire. My name is Fu Hoji. And I represent the element of wind. I'm Umi Ryuzaki. And I represent the element of water. Hi, I'm Happy. I'm an exceed from Extalia. And a member of the Fairy Tale Guild. Good day, I'm Carla. I am an exceed as well. And... We are also in the Fairy Tale Guild. Hey there, I'm Wendy Marble. I'm a Sky Dragon Slayer. My name is Romeo Combolt. I'm the only son of Fairy Tale's mage, Macau Combolt. And I'm a mage of the Fairy Tale Guild. <laughs> I'm Hanon Hosho. I am the Mermaid Princess of the South Atlantic Ocean. Glad to meet you. I'm Rena Toyn, and I am the Princess of the North Atlantic Ocean. Hiya, I'm Manatsu. It's a pleasure. Hi, I'm Aerie. 
Nice to meet you. Call me Pony Sumotori. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Denki, and I'm the handsome one. I am Xiaome. It's a pleasure. Adam! I'm dead! Hey, I'm Julia. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Nayuki. Nice to meet you. I'm Hanyu for today. And I'm Ayu Tsukimiya. Nice to meet you. My name is Lucas Klein, everyone. And this is my friend Haro. Adam, that's you too. I am glad to make your acquaintance. I am Sarada. My name is Kotome Ichinose. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'll promise to do my best on my violin. I am Yukine. It's nice to meet you. I am Pikachu Popstar. My songs will reach out to all of you. Pikachu PhD is in the house. My prescription? Knockout. Hi, I'm Rena Ryuku. You look so cute. I want to take you home with me. I am called Alpha Five. It is a great pleasure to make your acquaintance. They often call me Sayuri. Nice to meet you. I am Kaori. Please don't upset me. Futaba Sakura here. Nice to meet you. I'm Teleta. Nice to meet you. I am Melissa Shield. Pleased to make your acquaintance. And I am Jasmine, leader of the Alvine City Gym. Pleased to meet you. I'm Rika Nishimura, a sophomore going for my BS. My mineralogy club meets next door. So hi there, neighbor. You heard that? Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Hey there, I'm Taru Hagakure. Hi everyone, here's your homegirl Mimi. With the pulsating power of a driving disco rhythm, comes the queen of the buggy beat. I tribute summon Diane Kito, the buggy master. Hi everyone, my name is Kimberly. Hi everyone, it's Kimberly. Hi, um, I'm Jasmine, a gym leader. Hi, I'm Princess Mimi Tachikawa. <laughs> and I'm Coraline. <laughs> so let's get the show on the road. In our previous video, we spoke about why Chloe wasn't redeemed at all. And now that we've talked about everyone, let's go over the two remaining characters, Samurai Jack and Ashi. We're going to explain why these two had a redemption arc since we finished talking about the characters from Anakin to Cure Finale and Airy. Let's get started on the analysis. For Jack, after 15 years into the future, between losing his father's sword, the only means of killing Aku, and all known means of return to the past being destroyed, Jack has become delusioned with the idea of ever completing his quest. He's emotionally vulnerable showing signs of the post-traumatic stress disorder as he is often haunted by hallucinations of his family and the people of his past, constantly asking him why he didn't return to save them. And also, in Jack vs. the Daughters of Aku, Part 1, his mind manifests a hallucination of Mad Jack, demanding that Jack give up and end his constant suffering. Which means Jack is contemplating seppuku, traditional Japanese suicide, in this episode. Despite his weariness and seeming lack of hope, Jack refuses to surrender, continuing his quest to save people from Agu's tyranny whenever possible. At the same time, he also becomes open-minded with technology in which he begins to utilize high-tech weaponry, explosive and riding a motorbike. Through a Despite many decades of training and fighting as the ultimate warrior and his seemingless endless journey hardening through his overall outlook, Jack's general nature is rather still inexperienced and having never directly taken the life of the human being or cinema alien, he is able to distance himself from the knowledge of all the robots and androids he has destroyed by nothing that they are just nuts and bolts. However, upon actually killing a be such a being, one daughter of Aku, he was left horrified at the sight. However, he later comes to terms with his first kill after memory of remembering his father's word of wisdom and is able to handle killing the remaining daughters of Aku. Despite this, he still likes the notion of having to kill unless absolutely necessary and will never harm an innocent. Jack, at the same time, has become more easily angered and mad due to Mad Jack's influence after Aku destroyed the last time portal. This causes him to become easily more annoyed and aggressive and angered. He eventually let go of his greed and anger as a test of the gods Odin, Ra, and Rama in order to become worthy of using his katana again. I'm really sorry. For Ashi, she got a two episode redemption arc, and in the first one we noticed that she was a brainwashed child that had no childhood, and she had a constant inner fight for believing or not believing in Jack's attempts of showing her 
the true face of Aku. And the second part of her redemption shows Ashi's wish to change her life and see what Aku has done to the world. And after all of that, Ashi becomes Jack's best friend, his permanent sidekick. And she believes that hope for destroying Aku still exists, even if she saw the destruction he did. And the difference between her and Jack is that she doesn't focus on not only the bad things Akko has done, but she also sees the good stuff Jack done. So there you go. Now you know those two characters are redeemed as we explained in the last Chloe video. You either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. I think we understood she bullied Marinette since elementary school and has created trauma by humiliating her. So she'll not have OMGD anymore. We're not asking, for an example, not asking guys out anymore to go out with them, but that caused her to have Hinata or Ochaku Syndrome, aka Alexa Nicholas Syndrome, which made her look like Porky Pig from Looney Tunes. And also, there's a wise set on his live stream by Kelsey, aka Angry and Aggressed, that fans were crying out for Season 3, Redemption Arc, Redemption Arc, but... When Chloe shows kindness, she messes that up. But when you have a character like Zoe, who is like Kyrie, Kiara, or Karina, and who is perfect to get the miraculous, and then she returns without anything else in return, she has, she is better. So now the fans will give Deneen some peace, along with giving Sayla some peace and understand. The end. Thank you so much for watching everyone! What do you think? If you appreciate it, please be sure to super smash that like button and be sure to follow my social media platforms in the description below and in the Live Lights Band Up channels. Please be sure to leave a comment below and please give us your open-minded thoughts because we here at Team Life Lights Band Ups do not condone harassment, violence, or trolls allowed or otherwise, Red Hoek from Comedy Central's The Running Stimpy Show will haunt you down till the ends of the Shadow Realm. Please be sure to subscribe to our videos and click the notification bell. You'll never miss a video the second it goes live on YouTube and Google. With that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye <laughs>